You are watching Tutor Midge. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to find the mean, median, mode, range, variance, and standard deviation using the MS Excel. Okay, so here's the problem. In the past two years, every month, a poll was taken to measure the perception of people who rate the governor of the province on his job performance. The percentage of those who judge the performance as satisfactory are listed below. So we are going to uh, type every everything here. There you are. So since this is good for two years, it will be 24 data. So we have there. You just simply type everything here. I just highlighted this one so that I can limit my entry up to the 24th data only. Okay, so we have still 49, 60, 67, 54, 60, 54, 51, 70, 73, 80, 57, and 66. Okay, so let us um, encode first the mean median, mode, range, okay, standard, oops, no, let's put here first variance, and then standard deviation, oops, deviation, okay, so let us maximize this one, there you are. Now, how to compute for the mean? Since mean is the average, let us make use of the average. Okay. So, in typing, we have to type. In typing the formula, type first the equal sign and then type average. Open parenthesis. Click on the first column. Then select all. Put the close parenthesis and then press enter. Now do the same for the median, but this time you're going to put there median. There you are. Select again, enter, and then do the same to mode, equal sign, mode, open parenthesis, select all, and then close, enter. Here, we need to sort first the given data. So, since this is not sorted, you are going to select all the data and then right-click. Um, find for the sort option. Okay, so wait. So, let us click the sort. Let us make use of the sort from largest to smallest. There you are. Now, we can see the highest and the lowest score. Now, we can go back to this a cell and then click equal sign click the highest score minus the lowest score there you are we have now the range now for variance that is equal to var dot s so this is since we are only uh, computing for the uh, variance of the sample so we are going to select again the data and then click enter now, this is now STD EVA for the standard deviation. Okay. So, open parenthesis, select again the data, then close parenthesis, enter. Now, we can also um, round this up to two decimal place. There you are. Now, we're done with our mean, median, mode, range, and variance and standard deviation of our ungrouped data. So, that's how easy um, to find this one using Microsoft Excel. But there's another way. Just don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Like and subscribe. Tutor Meds. Happy learning!